Hey Libra, it's uh, with the weekly reading for the sign of Libra. This reading could resonate with it, with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's get right into it, Libra, and see what's here for you for this week. Okay, Libra, um, there's there's a changeover happening here. I'm almost like awestruck, or I'm I'm starstruck, or I'm. I'm just taken back. That's how I feel when I get into this picture that I see here. So there's something here, Libra, that really has surprised you, I think. Something has really surprised you. There could be a situation around you that's kind of falling apart in your environment. Um, there could be something here connected in with a mother figure or someone who has in some way like a hierarchy over you in energy or hierar hierarchy over in you in money or something. There, there. There is a situation that's definitely difficult, definitely difficult, Libra. Something here that really could be of great disturbance, and it could be of great disturbance, or it is threatening to be. So, there, there's a situation around you, whether it's com fully, completely crashed down, or whether it's in, it has a possible a feeling. It's just something here that has a great alarm to it, Libra. And I feel for many of you, this is this is something that's happening around you or to someone that you love. Um, I really feel like this is a situation you're moving forward into. You're moving forward into this place of disturbance or this place of great change or, or of great injustice could be, Libra. Um, because when, when situations become unfair, when things are not really stabilized when situations are going around us and there's something really wrong with them. We can see that Libra, you guys can see those things and you guys can really um, see the, see ways of moving ahead. You, you're able to find that balance. You're able to see the clarity in the way human beings are, um, how situations can happen. You're able to really get into the human condition and see how can these things happen around us? Well, you understand very clearly, Libra, how these things happen because you have this way of understanding life and you have a way of being able to connect in with those people that are going through hard things, whether it's something they brought on themselves or whether it was something that came to them in the environment or from the universe. I think you, you have this way of looking at a situation and realizing hey, that, it's tougher than it looks. So you can really be somebody who can stand up for the under, underdog here. Um, and so Libra, um, you're, the energy that you're embodying for um, the, the, the first part of this week is the lover's energy. And this is a, a place of great connection to other people that are around us, uh, understanding that is those connections that help us really reach into the best part of parts of ourselves. And um, this is a group of people, Libra, you are a group of people, those that I'm, that I'm connecting to here, understand the value of their relationships around them and understand the important work that can be done if we come together in a truly um, intimate and honest way, like we're really true and honest with how we feel about things, uh, we can really come together with other people and um, experience a, a lot of success, a lot of, um, there's a shadow element here that's here, but I'm not going to go into the shadow element right now. That's not a, that's trying to come up. See, I'm moving Libra from my shadow self which I had to move through for the last few years during the Kundalini. That's really what I had to deal with. So as I'm transitioning out, you can notice, you know, um, my table looks different. I'm using different decks now, especially in the extendeds. I'm moving into a different place. I myself am pulling out of the shadow. So as I'm connecting in with the lover's energy, I feel there's a shadow here, a shadow element here, but I don't think it's a problem in this week. So if you're feeling the lover's energy, sometimes the lover's energy does come with a really strong shadow, um, but I don't feel like it's a problem this week. I, I'm just, you might even notice it. You might even say, you know what? There's a part of me, my, there's a part of myself that really does enjoy this, even though this is really difficult and it's um, over like a very difficult topic or over something that's really horrific that's happened. There's a part of myself that is alive because of this. It is, it is here because of this. That, that's the call of the soul. It, it's something that brings the soul to life. And lots of times, 
uh, the energy of chaos brings us to life. That's just human. That's like the animal part of us. It brings us to life. It wakes us, it wakens us up. It pushes us into action. And there's something here, Libra. Uh, it could be something smaller. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be. It's a weekly reading. So for many of you, it's just something that's happening around you. Maybe there's a project at work that has, um, really kind of unraveled and you're and you're moving into this place of okay i'm here what can i do how can i help i'm on board with this and you really get into the energy of okay i'm part of this now whatever's happening it's there for you to participate in i feel with this tower energy is it hard absolutely tower energy is difficult is it something that you can help with is it something that brings you to a place of awakenedness a place of aliveness absolutely libra we see you moving forward directly into this tower look at you go knight of swords this is the way you are i uh, this is your way of being libra it's what you do it's how you solve things you find an understanding you find a justification you find a way of believing in it you find a way of understanding it and you move forward into some sort of communication that you're having directly into this tower energy whatever that is whether that's a big whirlwind around you that's part of your life maybe with your children or maybe with your um, lover or maybe with your extended family whatever's happening it's something that's rough it's something that's hard and it it has put you in this place of up and at it up and into the fire you go libra and i feel like this is a fire that you can really dance to the tune of um, and I know this reading is all full of weird innuendos and stuff, but I can't help it. Energy is weird sometimes. And, and I do feel the heat here, even especially in my right hand. So, you know, there is some sort of action that you're taking uh, the very first part of this week. Um, it, I feel it here mostly in my hand. My hands feel energy. They're full of, you know, my hands are, I'm realizing they are strange looking to me anyway. They're strange looking, but... They can work with energy and i'm really learning to to love these hands after all this time um and there's something like that about this here for you libra there's something like this about about this here's the lover's energy reaching up over the top of the knight of swords over the top of the ace of cups into this great mother space so you're connecting in with the great mother whether that's the great mother within yourself or the great mother that's around you you're connecting in with the great mother in a very um, powerful way there's some work to be done here and you're on board and you're feeling the intensity of it. it's down in the lower abdomen that i feel um and i believe it is connecting into the heart oh there's the ace of cups it's connecting into the heart center so it's something that you feel that that you are at a place where you can handle this you're at a strength that you can do this now it's almost like your heart was building and building your strength was building and building and now you're at a place in it that is just perfect for you to move Move forward and step into this firestorm that's here some sort of firestorm that's here that you're going to step into it connects in with some idea that you have or some way of doing taking care of it that you have and you're in the process of stepping into that in some way to help with that kind of a fire that kind of a firestorm that we see here um, and there is a definite uh, of the power of the great mother the connection of the great mother um, the way that the great mother helps to take care of those that she loves and those that she has brought forward into this world um, whether they're people or projects or animals or whatever this is there is a great understanding of the complexity of the situation of the condition of the the consciousness that's connected the state of minds that are connected here the awarenesses of the minds that are connected here the people i know i'm going like into the words here but there is a there's there is something here that needs to be stepped into i think you're the right person for it i think you understand how um, complicated it can be but you're at a good place in life where you can do that and there is some sort of nurturing and that that's why I feel like this is okay Libra because it's okay there is a shadow element here but you're in the great mother and the great mother is able to overcome any kind of shadow element for the sake of love and for the sake of those who she's nurturing she is able to overcome that um, and so that that's how the week is going to start off here now there is something here that you are focused on Libra and that is this love Love, whatever that is for you that is the people that are in your heart the uh, your own condition of love the, your own condition of love inside yourself but then radiating that out to this situation around you that is full of love 
full of compassion, full of kindness, full of care and nurturing. There is a very beautiful situation that is within, that is connected to you in the heart center. And this is a situation that impacts your heart center. It impacts how you feel about yourself. It impacts how you feel about your future. It impacts how you feel about the, the strength and the beauty and the happiness that radiates out of those that you connect to. So you're, you are in a very, motherly type of energy um and and it is a very feminine space that i that i feel here um when i'm connecting into this libra um as you get to the end of the week i think that there's something that you're deciding to do there's something that you're deciding on libra something that you have surrendered into you have decided on it there could have been ways of doing it there could have been routes to take there could have been lots of options here for you and you're deciding on an option you're you're kind of saying you know what i know that there's a lot of options and i know that there's a lot of features with each one right there's a lot of pros and cons with each of these options and i know that there the option that i take there are going to be some cons here there are going to be some cons that might not be there for the other options. Um, again, purchasing a car, there's lots of different cars to buy, lots of different kinds. They have lots of features. They have lots of different um, things that they can do. Are they all wheel drive? Are they front wheel drive? Are they, um, is it a four by four? It, does it have, you know, what kind of technic technical features does the car have? What kind of safety features does it have? Um, is it, uh, fabric inside or leather what color is it there's all kinds of options but once you choose you realize you are choosing a path and any of the other features that are with the other options those are kind of going away and that's what i kind of feel this death energy it's a choice it's some sort sort of a choice it comes over the top of the ace of cups over the top of the wheel of fortune moving up into the chariot so there's something here that you're making a decision on based on the love that's in your heart this is connected into that which you love, whatever it is, luxury, <laughs> basic necessities, um, um, caring for children, whatever it is that's part of your decision making, it's connected in to that which is so very special to you, right? So there's an importance here in this decision. Um, also, the, we uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So you're talking about something that's going to kind of send you in to a new experience, something that's going to help push you forward into experiencing life a different way. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about a better way, a more efficient way, a more safe way, a more robust way, a more successful way, a cheaper way, um, a, a more, uh, a way that's going to, that's going to help you earn more money, right? It could be any kind of a way, but it brings you into a place of betterment because of it. So it's c connected to that which you love and that which helps you love, and then connected into something that's going to help make life better for you in the future, whether that's luxury or efficiency or um, whatever it is, it's going to help connect you into betterment and you're moving forward with this. So this, I feel like this death energy is somehow making a decision uh, making some sort of a decision where there are multiple options here and just deciding and surrendering into it and saying, I'm happy with this. I've made my decision. Let's move forward. All right. And as you're moving into the end of this week, I do think um, that you're realizing here that this path that you have and the path that you've been on because of the ways that you've been able to see um, how you've been uncomfortable. Seven of Swords is being very aware of what has happened in the past and what it happens in the past is not always all good. Sometimes when we're being very clear and honest about what we, what we have experienced, we realize that there are some definite improvements that we can make. And I do feel like there are some improvements that are coming in here. Um, it's helping to lighten the load. Is it taking the load away entirely? No, the load is still there. The heaviness is still there. The situation is still there, but it's a little bit more doable. It's a little bit easier. And I think it helps you feel safer. Um, I, I really think that there, there, now there's a smoother path and not as much can go wrong. I just feel like it's kind of a sense of relief. I just feel like when I'm in this energy, there, there's a glass of wine being dr drunk and drunk. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think anybody's drunk here. But there is like a glass of wine that is being consumed and your thoughts are easing now. Your energy is easing. You're moving into a place of, uh, of, uh, of peacefulness, realizing that while the whole situation hasn't gone away, 
because you were able to recognize those things that didn't feel good, that weren't working right, uh, the threats that you felt like, let's say you have an, I'm still on the car. And let's say you have an old car and you realize like, this is not really safe anymore. Let's say you have a couple little babies that you drive around with you and the car is old and it's not safe. And maybe you're starting to hear funny noises and, and you're starting to realize that at some point, like this car is going to have a problem. That can be the seven of swords too. Like knowing that there's something coming up in the future that's going to take you know, some kind of work, it can really help you to say, you know, I, I think I need to like find a better way right now because I don't want to have this like threat, um, ominous threat over my head. It just feels like there is a clearing. There is an ease to this. There is something now you can do to make life more fun or make life more safe or make it more enjoyable. And I, and I do think that this is a new way of stepping forward into this. Uh, you might not have to get rid of everything. You might not have to make huge sweeping changes, but I think noticing these little things and really um, taking steps to um, bring in ease and enjoyment and 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 a, and a sense of safety here is going to be uh, is going to help make life a lot different as you're moving forward. And I do believe this is like the beginning of a new phase or beginning of something new here, a new day, a new age, a new way of thinking implementing new insight and you're really starting to see things in the external world begin to ease up for you a little bit Libra and that feels good okay my friends let's see here what I want to go into before we move into the extended um, let's go into this tower this tower, let's use my clarifying. I'm using the Wheel of the Year Tarot uh, for clarifiers this week. Looking at, woo, what is that? Here's another one to try to come out. There's a lot here. This energy is electric. There's a lot of change here. That's why I feel I could keep shuffling and I think probably a fifth of these cards, but this car, these cards are alive and there's a whole bunch of them wanting to come out. So I'm just going to stop. We're going to recognize that this is a very chaotic energy. It's going to be different for everyone, but there's something here that you're going to move into because of some capacity um, that you have and the confidence that you have and the call that comes from the heart center helps to push you into this tower energy. Let's see what we have here. We have nine of pentacles. Well, because you have the way you have the freedom to do this. And I feel like you do have this independence and you do have this understanding that whatever you do now, you are going to be okay. And um, we have the 10 of cups. This is about togetherness. This is about the happy family. This is about doing what you need to keep everyone safe and secure and really kind of huddle together as a group. And then we have the star energy coming in. Um, this is star energy is connected in with Aquarius. I do think though that you are really understanding yourself at this time and understanding how you can impact situations and how you can impact them in your own beautiful way. You have your own way, Libra, of deciding things. You have your own special way of really kind of bringing yourself into your most beautiful parts of yourself. And I really do think, um, Libra, that you have done this before you went through this before and you have the confidence now to be your unique self and to stand up and, and say it in a way that matters or do it in a way that matters and you're okay with how you are you're okay with your capacities you're okay with your strengths you're okay with how god made you and because you have that sense of self uh, you're really able to protect something here that's quite important to you and help to keep things around you your family your relationships uh, your workplace in a strong, uh, in a strong togetherness. It's like keeping everyone safe together, doing the right thing for this small group is there's something here. There's some sort of service, service to mankind or, um, motherhood to children, um, kind of energy that we have. And you have the capacity to do this. You have the money to do this. You have the independence. You have the a mind that's thinking um, very specifically for your own situation and realizing that your own situation has its own specific 
situations around it, your own specific details around it, and you yourself are able somehow, because of you, where you are in life and your and your ability right now, whether it's money or whether it's a talent you have or whether it's knowledge that you have, you're able to kind of step forward and, and help in some way. Um, and this really does bring you into a very uh, live place, Libra. Um, and you know that this is part of your wheelhouse. This is part of what you're here to do. It brings you a lot of peace to step into this tower for some, for some reason, um, Libra. It brings you into a place of aliveness and you really do know that this is part of your path here. Um, whether it's something small this week that comes in or whether it's something that means something much more deeper to you, Libra, this week as you connect in to knowledge that you are in one way or another, um, a part of this situation or a part of this process because of your role in life and that which you have moved through already and that knowledge you contain in, inside of you and that purity of heart that you have. Um, this is part of your journey. It's part of your path and is, is a recognition um, of your connection to the Great Mother. Um, let me see if there's anything else that we want to... connect into here. Now this is a reading where there's lots of underlying energy. Um, let's go into the ace, the ace of Cups. Let's go into the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles stepping forward. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I mean, when things are really important, it is hard to make decisions and we want to make them in a very perfect way. So I do feel like this is really about uh, making decisions that are in the best interest of the whole rather than of the self. This is the great mother and really being able to, to look at these options and to go deep into these options because there's some sort of importance here on how to make this decision. There's a lot of, there's a lot of love on the table here. There's a lot of love. Nine of Swords, there's a lot of love on the table. There's a lot of reasons to make the best decision possible. And that's why you're moving into the death energy. It's not about so much about yourself this time. It's about the group. It's about the togetherness of the group. Um, and what would everyone like? What, what would he like? What would she like? What would I like? How can we all come together? And there is like a death energy here where um, there's some decision here made that maybe you don't like everything about it, but there's a point and a reason for it all. And then you're moving forward here. Two of Pentacles. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And some of these could be smaller decisions too. Little small things, but there's ways you can help. There's ways you participate here that are special to you, Libra. Excuse me, I hope, see the energy is changing already. I hope it um, has been helpful for you. And for those of you that want to move forward into the extended reading, um, I will see you over there on the other side with the plethora of, of energy uh, of energies that will be on the other side. All right, thank you very much, Libra. It is a pleasure to read for you. Thank you.